You see out here, street style, it's everything. Show them who's in charge. It's the takeover. They call me Lacey, can don't play no more. I'd rather put money on my grandmother. I ain't got the money, I ain't got the bullets either. I ain't got the money since I've been vegan. I ain't got the season. Try to pay before the season. Probably ducked up in a quiet place with your pussy. Try to shake, probably like you couldn't see it. Hey, you driving like you stole it. I like your style. I would like to get a chance to the scar on my face. All the stars in the club. Put it your scar face. That's how you do it. See, I was rooting for you too, man. You made me proud. And welcome back, everybody, to RKTU. We got the second round between the Hornets and Vipers, but this time we're moving ourselves to Journeyman League. Can the Vipers avenge the EL Vipers or the Hornets continue to stay horny? I am <laughs> sitting here. I am your host for this game as I watch the Vipers get decimated last game. It is me, the W I R R A T Warrant. I am joined by none other than the friendly man himself, known as Cisco. Cisco, my man, what's going on tonight? What's up, Warrant? What's up, everybody? Super stoked about this matchup. Watching my team play against uh, the Hornets again. Maybe getting some revenge. Last time we met, uh, didn't go so well for the Vipers. So we're looking for that revenge game today. Ooh, and hey, let me tell you, they got some good players on the field tonight for the Vipers and Josh, who is an exceptional player and. Accompanying him tonight is Black Laser, I believe. That that's who, that's how I say his name. Yeah, we just say Laser. Um, Laser. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He's he's a fantastic player too. Uh, I think. Uh, I don't know if this is his debut or not. I do think he played one match, but this is his first stream debut. I think everybody's gonna like what they see in him. Oh, definitely. I mean, I'm I'm looking towards Josh tonight. I want to see what he's capable of once again. You know, Josh. Josh is a really great player, and uh, you know, I. I I want to just want to see him play again. And on the Hornets side of the field, we got Lofi tonight, who's an exceptional player. And I think accompanying him, I think it is humble, if I'm correct. It looked like it. And that's, you know, that matchup is, if it is humble, the Josh and uh, humble matchup is what I'm looking forward. Obviously, Lofi's got mechanics like crazy. Humble likes to destroy. He plays not humble. He likes to demo. He likes to chase. So uh, we will see... Um, We'll see what happens tonight, though. Well, definitely going to see what happens tonight. But, but if it's a preview of from last game, you know, the Hornets had all their way just pressure all day with Texas Cyclone and, you know, Turbid out there. So let's see if the Hornets can continue that in the jail side as Lofi and Humble look to have their way tonight. But I, I don't think it's going to be easy for them tonight, Cisco. Josh on the other side and Laser together they they are a scary duo yeah i do i think so too you know i think the hornets are going to come in confidently because why not i think they 3 0 us last time they played us uh but i think the vipers are feeling some uh they've you know laser and um laser and josh have been playing together a lot lately and they're starting to get that chem going and we're looking forward to see how that chemistry comes together today oh yeah with the uh, with the exception of you on the team i know Josh and Laser both have a good, good amount of goals coming into this game with Josh at 19 and Laser at 18. I mean, you are the, you know, goal lead. You know, you should be playing tonight, Cisco. I don't I'm know the, what's going I on. I didn't even know that. <laughs> I didn't know that I was the goal leader. Yeah, you, played two series. you have you have 21 goals. Oh, that's cool. Go me. From, from <laughs> statistics, you you should be both there playing tonight. But regardless of that, you know, both, both players are here. Fantastic. On the shooting side, while we look at the Hornets and, you know, as we take a look at Humble, who's got, what, eight goals c compared to Lofi, who has 22 goals to his name this season so far. Yeah, and I, you know, I can com I can confidently say I might have the most goals, but out of the three, I am by far the worst uh, Rocket League player. So, you know, if, I, I feel like these these two are going are gonna to show up and show out today, and I just can't wait. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see Rocket League. You know, this is, you know, our, you know, league, JL. I mean, we're here to rep as we take 
the field possibly as we wait for the players to get their you know pings checked, see their cars, their axles screwed on tight, you know, just making sure everything's ready to go for this possibly hard hitting matchup. And Cisco, no bias predictions here. What do you think's gonna happen tonight? Uh, I think we go five. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> Vi- you know, Vipers. Uh, we've been talking all week about three zero and I'm back, but you know, five is more realistic. Uh, I could see it going either way. I could see an overtime or two as well. Uh, just depends on who's rotating better and who's not trying to force. Who's tr- who's not trying to do too much in this series. So uh, obviously, I'm going to pull for the Vipers three uh, two, but I think it's going five either way. I mean, I like to point out the fact though tonight we do have a bunch of sweeps coming your way, so potential. Could be another sweep, says go. Possibly. I mean, I'm not sure. But if I had to make a prediction, I don't think I can with this one. This is going to be a coin flip for me. Unless unless there is a way for the Hornets to stop Joshua. And if there's a way for the Vipers to stop Lofi. I mean... You, and the team in the teamwork, you gotta. Who has the most, you know, teamwork going into this one? As both teams enter the field, Cisco. Here we go. Let's see what your Vipers are made of coming into yeah. this game. Five minutes on the clock. Oh, Josh Laser looking for some revenge on the Hornets. And here comes the first kickoff. As they both clash. Ball's gonna. Ooh, nice little kickoff for the Vipers. Josh going to take it. But gets past one, looking to drop it down, and oh, almost buck post Lofi. Great save, putting out mid. Got yeah, it out. sorry, great shot. I thought it was a great opportunity there. I liked that he went for that ground pitch at that angle because that other angle was covered. He hit it the only place he could score it. Oh, we got a counter attack now. Blazer's just gonna walk this in. Love it. One zero, baby. Let's go. Oh boy, here comes the bias casting out from Cisco. <laughs> no bias, I'm just excited for gold. This is good Rocket League. As Black Laser gets a freebie there, right to hit gold. Hornets are where they found. And just like last game, I mean, free nets all day, but this time the Vipers are on the good side of things. Could this be the story to tell Cisco? Yeah, you know, we've, we've been talking about low, low fee, and you've been talking about. Um, Josh a lot. I'm telling you what, Humble can absolutely get in Josh's head if he demo chases like he likes to do. I've seen it firsthand, but watch out for Laser. Don't sleep on Laser. He might be the best player on the field. Oh, that's a hot take. I mean, you know, speaking of Humble, I haven't seen him play in a while. I know when he was back on a team, you know, I'm not going to bring up that drama once again, but, you know, we're not going to talk about it. We're just going to talk about Loki scoring and tying the game there, Cisco, and a crazy demo coming out of it allows them to put the you know ball into the back of the net to tie the game and that's what the Hornets might need to do tonight. Yeah I think that is what they need. I think the the demos uh, not only will they set up easy goals like that for uh, the Hornets, but it might act, might actually, you know, get in the head of the Vipers a little bit and they need to make sure they keep their cool. <laughs> and laser answers right back with a great shot. Too fast to save. Uh two one. Boy, that was sure was a laser coming off of that car. Though he tried his best, but just couldn't get to it. And unfortunately for the Hornets, they're down by one. Plus, still plenty of time to go to, you know, recoup and figure this out as they put the ball on pressure mode. And this laser going to try and clear away. Gets a good clear off of Lofi. Out the corner, almost all he's got to do is chase him. Like I said, I haven't seen Rumble play a, a whole lot since I last seen him. But I believe you when he you know, chases and demos and stuff. I do believe you with that one. So hopefully the Hornets can ride the back of Humble on his demos tonight. But so far, it looks like the midfield game belongs to the Vipers. Yeah, and you know, on that last goal, what I really liked about it was Josh un- unselfishly left that for the better shot for Laser. Josh is known for trying to take that up and doing something fancy and pretty with it, which I love, uh, but he left that. Just the unselfish play and the communication between the two of them leaves another one there for him. Uh, if they're playing like that, then they might be difficult to beat. This is an open net right here, but he's going to have to take it over to the wall. Yeah, I know. Josh is a very good mechanical player, and when he wants to be, he can just hit you from all angles, from bottom, top, left, right. But if we see this teamwork coming, like you said, Josh just leaving his shots open for Laser to score, and a potential shot coming for Josh, and excellent work by the Vipers once again, just showing the teamwork capability. The 50 out to Josh, you ought to put that one in. Yeah, and you know, Laser, you know, he's smart. He waited. He was patient in the corner. 
Uh, I don't know who it was, if it was Humble or if it was Lofi, slammed the ball right into his nose to so an easy 50 right in front of the goal. Josh just cleaned it right up. Definitely. You know, the Hornets got to develop a game plan for that one and miss out by Humble. But Lofi going to take a shot. Laser just there with the easy save. Going to put this out past. No, just shy of the car as Humble going to put way to corner. He's going to take a miss there. But a good challenge goes and a demo. And Lofi finds some opportunity. Oh, no, he can't. Josh gets back just in the nick of time, and Humble's going to put it out the corner. And so far, the Vipers block solid right now, you know, preventing any attack to happen. You know, maybe that first goal is the police. I'm not sure this guy. Well, you know, like the demos have set him up, and, and I, I don't, I haven't seen much offense, like dangerous offense, coming from the Hornets outside of the two times they've demoed. One time they connected on a goal, uh, the other time it just felt dangerous. Besides that, it's been all Vipers, just like I thought it would be um, with this <laughs> uh, particular duo. And that's not me being biased, I just know these two and how good they are and how much better they are than I am. So uh, I've also seen this combination play in some scrims before. So. I am expecting some big things from, from these two, particularly from the Vipers. Oh, definitely. So far right now, they do have seven shots in total to their name to the Hornets three. So great pacing to outshoot them this game. You know what they say? If you outshoot your team, you know, there's a chance for you to win. Mm. And oh, Lofi, you can't miss those. you got to score. And he's just off. And Josh takes it back to the other end. Gonna ooh, get touched by Lofi, but off the ceiling, gives the chance to clear. Gonna follow and a double commit. Fortunately, works. Put that in the corner. A minute left. Let's go. Do you think the Hornets have a chance still? Um, no, I don't. Uh, not in this game. <laughs> just, just I, you saw maybe the last 30 seconds that the Hornets have kind of picked it up a little bit um, as far as the offensive pressure is concerned. Ooh. But as you see right here, the Vipers are up for the task. They're up for it. They're ready to defend and then turn it into the offense. And that's exactly what happened right there. Great clear. Uh, and then Josh follows it off the back line. I mean, right front post, too. I mean, beautiful pass from Black Laser, who is 100% goal participation at the current second. It's just excellent work coming from Laser, putting the pass on uh, to give it to Josh for the easy one to just, you know, support the team he can't, the best he can as the one is still struggling right now. That challenge off. Lopi going to let Humble come and take it. Fallen off the corner. Lofi is going to try and bounce it off the backboard, but Fallen recovers, follows, gets that one away. 20 seconds to go, and I think this one's chalked up for the one in the Yeah, too, not enough time to come back. They're going to need to make some adjustments. I'm telling you, for Humble to have a shot to impact this match, because uh, I think that he's just outmatched a little bit personally, uh, for him to have a shot to impact this match, he's going to have to be aggressive towards the demos and the bucks, because it just seems like... There's Don't three people playing, and then he's just kind of there right now. That's how it, it looks to me, at least. I don't know about you. I mean, it looks like they have a bad taste in their mouth from getting swept the last time. They look like they're coming out here ready to punch the Hornets in the mouth. And not really any repercussions for it. I mean, Cisco, I mean, like you said, this duo is crazy. They're dynamic, and I'm first watching front row seats, you, you've proven me right this first game. Yeah, I mean, yeah well, well, I can tell you what, you know, RKTU, we're all friends here. It's a friendly league. I don't think there's any friends on the court right now. Uh, there's no love <laughs> lost between these two teams, especially this combination of people right now. Uh, so it, I'm not saying it's personal, but I can say that the Vipers seem to be playing with a little bit of a chip on their shoulder, for sure. It's a big one, that's for certain, as... Eight shots come from the Vipers. Black Laser, 100% goal participation with three saves to boot. And what do you, what do the Hornets have to do to stop a Laser? I mean, like you, like we talk about Josh. You know, he's good, but if he has a if Laser continues to play like this, I I don't know how you stop these two. Like they both look so good solo plays, and if they connect on the duo plays, it I don't know how you stop them. You sub. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, that's what it looks like right now, and you know, it could all it could all change, right? Um, the you we, you talked about how you wanted to see Josh and how he played versus Lofi. When Josh is confident, I don't know if there's a better player in JL. Uh, confidence is huge, so as long as he keeps that confidence up, I don't know what you do. I mean, maybe we 
Maybe we go to a uh, sub shop and order a sub. I'm not sure what to do. <laughs> As the Hornets looking to fight back or possibly sting back against the Viper. Shot possible coming up for Humble, but Fallen, for Joshua, had fallen on that shot. <laughs> <laughs> that was... <laughs> yeah, it was a very, a very good save there. Should have been a goal right here, but, you know, the fake coming uh, worked. Uh, right now, this is an opportunity here too. A very dangerous challenge there by Josh. But like I told you, a confident Josh in this game is tough to beat. What a pass! Josh has got it oh. right off the crossbar. Lasers there. This might be a free opportunity for Humble to make an impact in the game, and he does get the easy goal here. One zero. You know, I got it. I got it. I got the idea for the Hornets. You know, let the goal post play third and You know what I mean? So three v two at that point. Open net, easy from. Hornets finally take the lead, but is it gonna stay? Yeah, it might have been an easy goal, but remember, those goals are hard. <laughs> you still, you still gotta make it. It may have set it up for him, but that, you know, I would easily miss that shot. He did a good job. <laughs> Coming off the goal, good bomb from as Lofi doing it himself this time. The Hornets punch right back from the game one, and let's go. I don't know. Hornets might have drawn up a game plan, but what kind of that gets shut down the spot. Uh, you know, well, this is where, this is what I'm um, wondering here. It's can Josh handle this, the adversary, can, uh, the, uh, the adversity, the adversary, the adversity here. So you're down two. There's still four minutes left. They got one lucky goal and then a great play by Lofi with the bump. Can you come back from it? And right now, Josh puts it right on net. You can't Ooh. save that. What a shot. That's what that's what they need from him. They need him to have that mental uh, toughness. And he did. He didn't put that right in there. I do want to note, though, that Humble trying to get in Josh's head early in this game as he's calling easy bumps on Josh. And I don't think he I don't think he took that first. I think he took it personally as that excellent shot coming from there. Like you said, if these two can get the solo play started and combine for the team plays all of the like, I think there's going to be an uphill battle, maybe possibly a Hamburger Hill challenge for the Hornets as Josh puts on another shot. Okay. Clean save. Ball's gonna bounce over to Humble. He's just going to take the cross over to Laser. He's gonna get this off the wall. Can Loki clear it away? But she does. Let's go. Tides are turning. I mean, this, this isn't the same Hornets from the last game. Or it might be. No, it's not. The third defender coming in handy again. And this could just be another easy shot. And nope. Humble with no boost. Yeah, and, and that's, that's what's interesting about this is. Can they keep their composure? Right now, you can tell they're not. I'm not saying they're tilted, but they're playing with this weird energy and over committing from second man. And then, Ooh. you know, they're playing well offensively, but can they stay patient? Can they stay in front of the ball, or are they going to be pissed off because they're done with it? You know, how are they going to play? Yeah, you don't know. How are the Hornets going to respond to all this? I mean, I see Josh just off the post again just recently. A shot coming through, but and a miss. Coming from the Hornets, Josh puts in another one. He's got to do this game. Yeah, Laser did all the all the hard work there, all the heavy lifting. Great, <laughs> he just forced it through Lofi. Josh just forced it through him again. Lofi got double dunked on that one. Back to 2-2. Two, two. I mean, that's what I'm saying. It's If you can keep your composure, you can punch back with four minutes left. They go for the fake kickoff here. Josh going to be able to get to this ball. He is. Can he get the double tap? This is going to be beautiful. Oh, oh my oh, gosh, dude. Great attempt there. Oh man, that would have just put some nails in the coffin if Josh hit that. Like, what would have gone through the mind if Josh had hit that? Like, we'll never know. Because unfortunately, missed. But, you know, they're still playing. Lofi puts on a shot. Josh's going to get a save as they're looking for the sweep in this game. Humble almost tries for a demo, but jumped over as the Vipers. Putting pressure on the Hornets, slowly getting pushed back to their side and tumbled out. Going to try and put a pass up to Lofi. He does, but it's too quick. That thing was faster than Sonic the Hedgehog. Lofi could yeah. touch that. That was a great pass. I, you know, it, it, Lofi would have had to have. Oh, this is going to be easy. Ooh. 
What happened there, Cisco? What, it, what just, it looked like a little just bit of a whip. I don't know who that was. Oh, it was Josh there on the side. He just jumped early. Just a whip and, you know, Laser can't get back in time. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The second man. If the second man is just a bit more patient, he fakes the challenge there and shadows a bit more. That's not a goal. Instead, he jumped at it. Missed, and that's the risk. Either you're going to get a good 50 and maybe a counterattack, or you're going to completely miss. And that might be an easy goal. Oh, the the double no, commit. What is happening? Healthy, returning the favor here. What is that? What is going on, Cisco? You, like, can you clarify for me why these goals are so free right now? Like, did they just go, like, the last game, readcreditreport.com, start checking their credit scores for free or something? Like, these nets are so just wide open, like, last series. This, like, looked like two people, one person on each team forgot how to play Rocket League for about 30 seconds there. <laughs> See, Josh has got full boost here. He's got control. Can he go for an air dribble bump? Instead, he goes for the double tap at that. Difficult, difficult A angle. This is going to come back to the center, though. Be dangerous. He will second man shadow. He will. See, that's the better play instead of diving at that ball. Great play there by Laser. Ooh. This might go in. This is going to be a tough save. Still not done yet. Another save needs to come. Loki is too far back, though, um, you know, to his credit. But if he was just a little bit more forward, that might have been an easy goal as well. Yeah, I mean, just missed plays coming through for the Hornets, opportunity after opportunity with the bumps and demos. But I mean, you're, you're living, you learn. Like you can't hang your head on those missed opportunities as the lifers are now sinking their teeth more and more. Oh, shot from Laser, and oh my gosh, that is not what you need with 38 seconds left to go. Series on the line, Laser showing up right now. Saying, hey, I'm a part of this game too. You've seen Josh come through and through and through. He's got eight shots, but guess what? I have 100% shoot, baby. I'm gonna take you for your word. I'm gonna punch you straight in the mouth, and you got 30 seconds to deal with it. You still think that my take was oh. hot? <laughs> Did not, it doesn't look like that take is so hot. This is a great <laughs> kickoff. Great kickoff going right to the back. Those are awkward to defend. Uh, Drops did everything he can to miss it, but then comes in off the post and humble own goals it, which we would like it no other way there. We're potentially seeing another 3 0 sweep. 33 seconds to oh, go. Faster oh, oh, <laughs> curse here. Another kickoff goal, not quite. It puts it off to the uh, side. Hope he's going to be able to collect this year. What is Humble going to do? So far, his best, best contributions have been open goals and demos. <laughs> so is he going to like really um, lean into the demos? Well, Josh overcommit here. He did, and he did get beaten, but they couldn't recover in time to make it matter. Oh, no. Six, five seconds to go. Down. And that's the game. The Vipers with the revenge sweep on the Hornets and got the revenge sweep. Against Isn't that game two? The, uh, I think that was game three. I think that was game two. Are you are you sure? I nope. think that was three. Was yeah, that, that was game two. What the what, what kind of man? These games are long tonight. Man. I'm, <laughs> to I'm an old man out here. That's why I said don't jinx it. It's only game two. <laughs> man, I'm tired tonight, dude. It's all good. We're you know, I'm here for you. These games uh, are it, long. Yeah, well, there's a lot of goals here. Not a whole lot of defense happening. You got a combined eight goals, you know, if you're adding 30 seconds to each goal or whatever it is. I mean, um, take some time. I mean, you you might as well just pack up the series with this kind of play. I don't know. The Vipers are <laughs> just mean? pouring it on. Three to two. They were winning three to two with two <laughs> minutes left. You know, they had the game in their hand, but, you know, maybe, you know, smack talking mid game is not the best move, especially on stream. Like, it, yeah, could go one way. it could go one way where it works for you. And it has for him in the past. I'll tell you that. But it seems like Josh is just on one right now. You, you let him be a, even a little upset, he's going to make you pay right now. I like the way he's responding to it. Yeah, hey, I mean, I told, these games definitely feel like they're longer than not. I mean, I literally got done playing and casting in like six other games that felt like they were 10 minutes. <laughs> you know, I, I don't I don't know what's going on tonight. It's been a long night of Rocket League, and for me anyway, but, you know, I, I, told, I told you from the get-go, Cisco, I mean, watch out for Joshua, because I played him as well myself. I played him in scrims, and I know what he's capable of. You can't let him get going. And, you know, they did a great job at trying to keep Laser down, but it wasn't, you know, that well. They just let them run all over the board, and like uh -oh. this here, almost. But good save from the Hornets, as they need to get 
better with the demos, I think. Get physical, so what do you think? They gotta do something. Uh, right now, it's just, I mean, either Lofi's gotta turn it on and, and try and just do it himself, or they, you know, they gotta get some demos right now. But right now, the combination of Josh and, and Laser is almost a cheat code, it feels like. Now, I think that the Hornets do have two play another player that can compete with this. Uh, he's just not in today, so. Unless you got your two highest salary players going against the squad, you, uh, you know, put, put the league on notice. It's going to be hard to be <laughs> And, you know, as you just said, it's going to be hard to beat these two. And Laser is setting that beautiful pass up for Joshua. And no one is home for the Hornets. And that's kind of been the sub story of the night. Yeah, Laser, I think all, you know, throughout the series, he's been doing a good job at setting setting up plays, setting up shots, even making some himself. Josh has been excellent at finishing them and playing a lot of good, it's, you know, maybe risky, but still solid, solid defense. They're just, they're just on the same page, which I'm happy to see um, that both of them are on the same page today, obviously. Now, what can Humble do to make this interesting? Ooh. He can get it by one and score. There you go. That was a nice shot off the corner. That's the best play I've seen from him all day. Good first touch, followed it up. Maybe an overcommit there from Josh, which is, you know, I feel like that is his, uh, if he's got a weakness, that's probably it, and he paid for it. Yeah, there go. Next thing I see tomorrow morning is uh, Vipers release Cisco. Dan mm -hmm. Bay uh, out these insults. But, you know, Humble, you know, has been slightly quiet this entire series. I mean, going for bumps and demos, not really doing too much of he's missing you know, it out of him. He's getting going there, for him. Yeah. He's yeah, going but... for him, but he's just kind of, he's not draining him in as the opponents need them to do. And a but... miss right there puts it down to laser yeah, with an opportunity. Yeah, and then, you know, you see here, it works out this time. Josh is going as second man. Like, if that 50 goes the wrong way, no, that's a goal. That's an easy goal for the one. So we just got to be careful with that. That's the one thing that keeps happening. And then the same thing happens the other side. Uh, Lofi goes for it when he shouldn't, and it's the easy goal the other way. Second man is just being impatient on both sides. Right there. And, you know, that's the second time we've seen no defender through there. I mean, Humble, he was there in the replay, but wasn't there to defend the shot. And that goal number two, that's been open for the Vipers. And do you think the Hornets are kind of out of gas right now? Do you think they on a low energy, low low steam? I don't, I don't know. I don't. I don't know if it's low energy or low steam. It's, it seems a little desperate because the second man is diving at the ball, just diving. If you're gonna do that, you're you're gonna lose. <laughs> I mean, if second man is gonna dive this often, you're gonna get beat at, at least half of the time. And if you get beat as last man, that's a goal. You know. Easy goals right now on both sides. Whoever stops doing that is going to win. Period. Yeah, I mean, Easy. as yeah, I mean, as we've seen, the past three goals for the Vipers have been open. Like, it's just been kind of crazy. I don't know what else to say about that. But you know, the Hornets need to get better at getting back and playing defense and not double committing. And there they are. When they're playing defense, they can clear it away. As Humble going to try and put a pass, but Laser with a good cutoff. Opportunity, but Lopi is there. Passes over to Joshua, but just a shot off the corner. Humble's going to try and take it around. It's Josh. Ball's going to bounce off to the side there, over to Lofi. And lackluster hits coming from. Great challenge, Second man, opportunity. Yep. Second man leaving it wide open. It should have been a goal. Uh, you know, two people diving at the ball in twos is not ideal. That's it. Said it, you've seen it. I mean, we've been talking about it all night, especially yeah. on the Viper side as well. Double commits coming from leaving the net wide open. Fortunately for the Vipers, that didn't go in. But yeah, it should have gone. Go. Absolutely should have gone. And 100% should have gone in. But you know, as you as you said, you know, you're you know you're the expert here. And you're calling it all night, like when the teams double commit, the goal is wide open. It and happened again. Here we go. There's another open net. Can they <laughs> capitalize on it? Okay, they're going to be able to get back. But Josh is pretty good in this situation. It's just a tiny, tiny bit of a miss, but Laser will be there to clean it up. Easy peasy, 4-1. You send two, we score a goal. Easy. So, and that's both sides. And, that, you know, right now, the only, the biggest difference in this game, right, is that the Vipers are making more goals and the Hornets are not. I mean, right? that they, is... they have the same opportunities. It's just... 
you know, getting the same, you know, getting the same, you know, opportunities. But like you said, I mean, the Lions aren't capitalizing as well as the Vipers are. And a demo coming out of Josh this time. And the Vipers might be a little aggressive in the past minute here. No need to, though, but they just might, <laughs> you know, getting ready to sting. Oh, a little bit of an own goal there. <laughs> what is happening? Um, yeah, so as you can see, I, I mean, I, I hinted at it earlier. It's just, it's just personal. It's personal for the Vipers. And uh, they're, they're showing why. Now, obviously, the, um, the uh, Hornets do have another high salary player. Uh, that they could obviously, you know, come back and make it a better series if they play each other again in the playoffs or something. Um, they could make it totally, you know, to go 50-50 in my opinion there. So, um, you're just going to need your best salary players to play this duo specifically. I think there's some hostility going on in the chat here between both teams. As you said, they don't see eye to eye as John. It's been two weeks of this. Really? <laughs> this, is, this has been two weeks. <laughs> At least. Um, it's been hilarious from my point of view, but you can definitely tell us. Like I said, it's been a lot. Josh and Humble going back and forth, you know, getting each other's head. Josh said he's got some tips in his bio for Humble. And Humble's like, I don't need tips from a guy who gets carried. And the hostility calling oh, yeah, out, it's just kind of funny, you know, just watching these two get angry at each other. And oh, if Humble would let that in, you know, Josh was all over him. Well, you know, Josh doesn't have any tips for him, but he has been trolling him in his bio um, <laughs> for a few weeks here. So Really? Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, it's been funny. I've been looking forward to this. I didn't know who was going to play tonight for the other team, but this is exactly what Josh wanted. He got what he wanted, 3-0. We got the payback. Uh, going in tied now. So uh, after this week, the tied for first place, I think both have the, both are 6-3 and three on or 6-4. and four. I believe. So I don't know what that means, who ends up being first place. I don't know what the tiebreaker is, but right now they're both six and four. I'm just kind of curious to see what's on his on his bio. I'm, I got to look him up for a second. <laughs> no, I'm curious. Hold up. <laughs> what's he got going on here? Oh, wait a minute. Any advice from those who watched last week's stream game? I barely survived in a reverse sweep, and now I, I'm told I'm playing versus Vipers this weekend. Any tips would be appreciated. Humble. Dang. And the hostility coming out of the board as the Vipers. I call it in the game, too. Maybe I have the shrine on. You know, maybe it wasn't just me. Maybe I'm not tired. I, I definitely called it Cisco. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, it was a it was a 3-2. It's not the... um. It wasn't the combination that I was expecting tonight from the Hornets, though. So, you know, uh, the Hornets are still one of the strongest teams in the league in JL. So, they, you know, when they meet again, I'm sure, you know, tensions will be high. Uh, and it's going to be some awesome Rocket League. I don't, I don't see another 3-0 happening between these two uh, for the rest of the season. I think I need to, I think I, I think I want to get back and cast these two in the <laughs> playoffs or something. I, I, I gotta be honest, I probably shouldn't because I know everything that's happening between the two teams. I probably shouldn't be a part of it because I was a part of it. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I, I was expecting this is what I was expecting. I was expecting more demos coming from Humble. I thought Humble would uh, earlier on would try to get in Josh's head a little bit early, didn't happen. Um, and honestly, just the consistency from Laser. Like I told you, Laser might be the best player on the field. Uh, and at times he was, at times Josh was, and at times Lofi was. Um, I think uh, all three of them are extremely good. Uh, and, you know, when Josh maybe got a little bit tilted, Laser was that. that. Um... 